to the magical thrift store formerly known as my bedroom but in all seriousness today I'm actually pretty stoked because this video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. One of my most frequently commented things that I get from you guys is that y'all don't really live by a good thrift store or don't find great thrift store pieces so I thought I would make it just a little bit easier by showing you guys this amazing website, redup.com. At first, I was a little bit skeptical about it because I, I wasn't really finding stuff, but once you get the method to their madness, you can truly find some just amazing pieces. You want to try this out? You get 30% off your entire purchase with using the code DIANA30 at checkout. This video is going to be broken down in half from the thrift with me experience, which is basically me showing you guys all the pieces, why I'm getting them, all of my tips for online thrift shopping, and then what they actually get in the mail, how they're gonna fit me, how they're actually gonna look on me, and I'm actually pretty excited because I've never done anything like this before. It just takes a little bit of searching, and you can find some really great pieces. So yes, I have my laptop here right next to me, ready for you guys to Come thrifting with me. I'm gonna start off with some micro tips first before getting into the actual thing that I picked up because this is really gonna be super helpful to you guys on this website. Tip number one, if you know a lot of brands that you like, I mean a lot of them, the search bar is going to be amazing for you because you can literally just look through each brand. You have a lot more options that way versus looking at the new stuff. You can start off with the more well-known brands. For example, Free People, Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, Brandy Melville. Those actually have more of an option, but for example, if you are a Reformation fan like I am, you can look up Reformation. I was also looking up Betsy Johnson, which has funkier pieces, and Oakenford Ghani. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They have filters and stuff for your sizes, so you don't have to go through everything. And then one really cool feature about their website is that they have the option to shop someone's cart. For example, they just forget about it and the 12 hours of time is up, then you can be notified. I find that whole system to be quite funny because it's kind of like when you're actually going to a thrift store and you're watching somebody else from like across the room. Last tip that I have for you guys on shopping on this website is to look for specific items that you're looking for. I'm just the kind of person that when I go to thrift stores, I already kind of have an idea of pieces that I have in my mind so I store it in my wish list of thrifted pieces memory bank <laughs> and then I kind of just like think about it when I'm going through thrift stores so let's just say I want a colorful striped sweater you just type up striped sweater and you have all these options. I found an amazing sweater this way. So basically all of the tips that I really have on shopping this website, I know they're super easy, not groundbreaking at all, but it really did help me out in finding pieces that I genuinely was looking for. Now we're gonna be going into my cart and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the pieces that I found for myself. So let's go into the first piece that I have, which are these pants by Oakenfort. They are a pair of casual pants size medium and they used to be $88 now they're $24.99 so you're getting a really good deal there I love the back pockets and the shirring at the back just kind of gives it a nice little detail there let's move on to the next thing which is this Betsy Johnson dress I have a funny story about this dress my boyfriend doesn't like it one of my best friends doesn't like it I really like it it's polka dot it's very vintagey. it's got lace trimming, it's velvet. I feel like it'd be so cute layered up with like a turtleneck underneath or maybe just a t-shirt or on its own with like a nice oversized blazer to kind of just give it a more chic approach. Now this dress was originally $265 and I'm getting it for $68.99. I love color, you guys know that, so I'm definitely getting her. Next up we have a blazer from American Apparel. RIP to the OG American Apparel and I think this would be so cute to wear with like maybe a striped t-shirt or even with those trousers that I showed you guys before. This used to be originally $71. It is now $26.99. We have another little gani piece. This one is a turtleneck sweater, size medium, perfect to wear with a pair of jeans. Just keeping it simple, keeping it classic. I have this little Urban Outfitters mule slash clog. It's a size 8 and I love the shape of the shoe, they're very simple. I just need a new pair of shoes and I feel like these would be really cute in the fall time to wear with like sheer tights underneath, just to kind of add a little bit of coverage. It's not gonna be too cold in the beginning of the fall, so I definitely feel like I could wear these. And then we have this turtleneck sweater I was talking to you guys before. It's originally from Neiman Marcus, 
$275, now $53.99. That's a $220-ish dollar discount. I love that it's ribbed. It's got a little bit of texture in there without being too loud because the colors themselves already have a statement within themselves. I've got these trousers here. I believe I actually had a pair of these in a different color. Did not like that color at all, so I hardly ever wore those. But the fit on those pants were amazing and I think that navy blue is just like a very easy and universal color to have in your closet. It was originally $48, it's going for $17.99, so 68% off. I just like to look also to see where all the pleats are landing, how it fits on the leg. I have this little casual skirt. It was originally $36.99 and then now I can get it for $12.79. Love the color of this bottom. It's very reminiscent of like the corduroy skirts everyone was getting. I think it's on the corduroy. I have a blazer here which reminds me so much of this American Apparel blazer. This exact one actually. I had it in like a light baby pink color and I ended up donating it because I felt like the color pink didn't look good on me. And this was back when I was in college. Missed that jacket so much. Now when I saw this on the American Apparel list, I got so excited. This is the exact color that I wanted outside of the pink one. It's in this tan houndstooth print. I know that this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. I think it's very unique. I'm trying to get out of those colors a little bit, but somehow I always manage to end up wearing them. I feel like it's just comfortable for me. Now we also have a Ghani piece here. Stepping a little bit out of my comfort in terms of color for the fall time, but I think it still works because it has a mixture of that lilac with the tans and the darks. The print is very bold. I'm just obsessed with these high necklines that are very reminiscent of Victorian blouses. Originally $205 and now it's going for $21.59. We have this little American apparel blouse. I have found myself to have an obsession with sunflowers lately. Like it's actually too much of an obsession and I love the way the flowers just kind of look painted on the fabric. This used to be $36, $15.99, so that's 55% off and then with the additional discount, it could go out for $12.79. Okay guys, so that is it. Um, those are my laptop now and I'm going to order all the pieces. I can't wait to get them in the mail and to see how they actually fit me. I'm like very curious about that because I've never actually bought secondhand things online before. I'll see you guys in a few days and wish me luck. <laughs> Guess what guys? The boxes are here. Just grab some scissors. <sighs> okay, so it's taken absolutely everything in me not to open up these boxes because I wanted you guys to get my first initial reaction to everything that I'm getting. Big old box in its polka dotted glory. I'm gonna. Ooh. I already see the sweater that I ordered. Kind of forgot what I ordered just a little bit because it's been a while. I love the mustard and like the little pop of pink that it has. I don't know, from what I remember, they look a lot more rich than they did online. I hope that this one fits me because it does look a little bit small. Guys, the sweater actually fits me and I'm a little surprised because the sleeves are three quarter length. It gives me a chance to show off this tattoo right here. I love the ribbing and I was a little scared that the sleeves would be a little bit too tight on me, but it actually works. I'm also not wearing a bra because it's 90 degrees outside and those two just don't go hand in hand. But seriously, such a score. Let me know what you guys think down below because I'm really obsessed with this. The next turtleneck that we have is this one from... Yeah, this one's from Ghani. It's very simple and I love this creamy ivory color. It looks as though it just might have like a more oversized kind of fit to it. Just a slight bit of pilling here, but it's nothing that I can't fix myself. Overall, the quality of the sweater, it looks amazing. I can't wait to try this on. Hmm. Okay, so I actually really love how drapey this is. Like, do you guys see how it kind of just like falls nicely on the body and it doesn't like clunk up or anything? I mean, I could have tucked this in a little bit better. So bad, I, I would actually wear it like this. It's definitely very modern, very minimal, but I like that because it's just very easy to layer. I also love the contrast ribbing that it has. Like, it has more of a chunky ribbing here at the front. It's a little bit itchy, but not too itchy where it's like overwhelming and just can't stop thinking about it when you wear it. I'm gonna take this off right now because I'm sweating up a storm. What is 
podcast. Oh, right, this is the American Apparel blazer that I was so excited for. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be more like a heavy kind of blazer with like lining in it and everything. But in a way, I kind of like that because it might just give it a really cool laid back look. Okay, so as you guys saw when I unboxed, this is very drapey, very loose. I feel like this is one of those pieces that you really can't put a lot of bulk or texture underneath it just because it'll like show through the fabric. But I honestly don't mind that. Like this would be a great blazer to wear in the fall time with like, you know, a t-shirt like this one that I'm wearing right now. Or even in the summertime if you wanted to like wear something a little bit more businessy or put together. Okay, so that was half of the box. <gasps> now this half, another American Apparel piece. I know this one's really summery, but I couldn't help myself because I love some flowers. I love this print. I also really like how new it looks. It doesn't even look like it's been worn at all, which is crazy. Okay, so we've got the top on now. So adorable. I was kind of already aware of how the fit was going to be just because I already have a shirt exactly like this in my closet. I feel like I would definitely just gravitate for this on like a picnic day or maybe on a farm trip that I tend to take with my boyfriend's family on the weekend to get like fresh produce and stuff. You definitely don't have to dress for that occasion, but it's always fun too. I wish that I'd picked this up a little bit sooner in the summertime because it's already basically September. I mean, it's really not much of an autumnal print. Okay, this is a top that I'm so excited for because of the colors. It's another one from Ghani and wow, this neckline is stunning, you guys. Ribbon detail around the neckline. Hands down, out of everything that I got, I think this one is my favorite and I cannot get over like these big, bold roses that it has everywhere. And look at these groovy sleeves. I really just wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do. We have this American Apparel blazer. I was so excited for this because I used to own this blazer back when I was in college. I think I already mentioned that, but it was pink and this color, you guys, is so pretty. Like it's kind of like a grayish, brown tone i feel like even now that it's summertime when it starts to like lower in temperature a little bit it would be perfect to just put on top of like a t-shirt or something but this is so nice i love the big chunky buttons here at the front and as i said before i'm already familiar with the fit of this but just to show you guys it's a little bit more laid back kind of just like drapes nicely on the body and it also has these three-quarter length sleeves which i really don't mind. I actually really like that look because it changes up the lengths a little bit. Kind of just reminds me of something that a grandpa would wear. I've got these trousers. It looks like it has a slightly more slim fitted leg than I expected. So I'm interested to see how that's going to fit. All right, great. The pants fit, which is good because I don't really have that many different kinds of trousers or bottoms in general. It doesn't feel like that, you know, skinny fit where it's just too tight on the body. Definitely more of a dressy pant to wear on a fancier occasion. We also have these that I'm so excited for. They feel very substantial and sturdy and I also really like the leg of this pant. Like it's got more of like a straight leg fit to it. The back has this elastic waist. So when you have a food baby and you don't want to unbutton your pants, I cannot begin to tell you guys how hard it was to get the waist of these pants past my hips because I have the largest hips and like booty area, at least for my size. Because I have a very hourglass shape, I had a feeling that once I got them past there, the waist would fit pretty well. I like that look of like the whole straight leg crop pant kind of thing. They're just a really great staple pair of slacks. So I dig them. Next up we have this American apparel skirt. I really truly thought this was gonna be denim when I saw it online and I kind of like wish that I could tell from the photo. I don't think this one's actually gonna fit me. I might have to return it, but let's see when I actually try it on because I, I really can't tell from just like holding it up. The waist is a little bit bigger, kind of having trouble keeping my shirt inside of it. I feel like this was a lot more in style back in like 2012 or something, but overall, I really like the color a lot. I think the fabric is really nice. I'm not sure how I feel about the fullness of this skirt. Hook a girl up with some opinions because I genuinely need them. Ooh, okay, so these are the shoes that were originally from Urban Outfitters. Just a little bit of wear in the back, but nothing too crazy. They like stuff them with some tissue on the inside. These are made out of like fabric material on the outside. And I love the bows on them. They're so classic. They kind of remind me of something that Blair Waldorf would wear. And I like the little point here at the ends. I feel like these could easily go with any of the stuff that I have here today. Hey, Clemmy. Do you want to say hi? Are you trying to go into mama's closet? She's so cute. 
now we have the last couple of things from this envelope. I was watching this shirt for the longest time from For Love and Lemons and somebody kept putting it in their cart over and over again. So one day I like woke up at like five o'clock in the morning, not on purpose, but because Clem woke me up. ThreadUp has like a timer that shows you when the things expire from the cart. And the shirt actually ended up expiring and I'm so happy that I was persistent on it because you guys, this top is the perfect little white button down top. It's very billowy. This was 30 something. So for a top this good quality and secondhand, I definitely think that it's worth it, especially considering the fact that this has like no wear in it. As you guys know, I know how to sew and just seeing all of the craftsmanship on this top really blows me away. Like, do you guys see all this pleat work here? This takes hours, if not days to make, at least for me. And I can't even imagine how long it took to make not only the pleats, but also to fit these like little ruffles here on this panel. And you guys, these sleeves, just look at these cuffs. At least for my crazy ass vintage taste, this is definitely the perfect white button down top. And I can just picture myself wearing this from my 20s to my 30s to my 60s, and I will most likely be buried in this top. This is so pretty. This is the polka dotted Betsy Johnson dress. It even has the tags on it and it's set retail for $265 and then the lace that it has around the neckline as well as the cut underneath the bust line is so delicate and pretty. I just like wonder how people just have these pieces with tags in them in their closets and don't wear them. My mom's definitely been guilty of doing that before, but I, I couldn't do it. I get too excited when I go shopping and like wear something right away. This color is so pretty. Like I'm a big fan of this pea soup cool tone color. <laughs> I have a t-shirt underneath because I got this dress specifically to layer it for the fall time. At least in my opinion, it kind of looks cool when you dress down in more dressy slip. Uh, I could actually stretch my legs out without having to worry about the slip kind of constricting. And I don't even think I talked about this hem. I love that it's like curved in this wavy pattern here at the bottom. So that is it for everything. I'm gonna go try these things on now and you guys have probably already seen the clips of me trying them on. So crossing my fingers is kind of something that I already do when I'm thrifting. I just, you know, try all the sizes and hope that they fit me somewhat so we'll see how that goes everything just seems to be such good quality and although the prices are maybe not what everyone expects at a thrift store i definitely do feel like it's worth it especially for a lot of these items that already have tags on them and are like new condition if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and also make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know your favorite piece in this video i will um, be doing a lot more thrift hauls and stuff in the fall time now that we're kind of transitioning there just from seeing all the colors and textures i can already feel that i'm so inspired to do like a fall lookbook yes that is all for now i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day wherever you may be and i will see you all in the next video bye I really hope you enjoyed that video. I'm about to upload it right now as I'm filming this, but I wanted to pop on here really quick just to announce my gift card giveaway because I am just a tad bit late on announcing that. But before I do that, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for leaving such heartwarming and lovely comments on my giveaway video. And just in general, you guys are amazing. But anyway, the randomly selected winner for the giveaway is Emily Elizabeth. I believe her username is at Emily Berwick Anderson on Instagram, but congrats to you girl. You are now $50 richer in thrifted clothing So I will not take any more of your time. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video